Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. Some of you guys kept asking me the biggest question of all time. What happened to JC Entertainment? Those of you that don't know who JC Entertainment is, JC is basically another Godzilla YouTuber out there. And how we both ended up meeting each other was through the era of Shin Godzilla. And I'm talking like, you know, when Shin Godzilla was first popping up on YouTube with the first trailer and all that stuff. And what I really liked about JC Entertainment was the fact that he had nearly the same energy as I did. And it's really hard to find on this platform. He was the man that had the best laughs Ever, especially when it came to him just, you know, just reacting to some of my If Kaiju Could Talk voiceovers. All right, enough <laughs> is enough. Who the hell just brought me some food? This was also the man that voiced over Jet Jaguar from both Godzilla vs. Megalon and Godzilla Singular Point. Uh, is that a flying toy figure? No, you silly ass dinosaur. My name is Jet Jaguar. Atomic <laughs> Breath! On April 16th of last year was JC's last full YouTube video. And the last YouTube short he ever posted on his channel was back around July of last year too. And it got to a point where like, yeah, some people assumed that he was dead or that he just ended up quitting YouTube where it just was not enough for him. The only thing that I can really tell you guys is that, you know, yeah, JC definitely is a busy man in real life. So of course YouTube is not, you know, his thing anymore as part of a hobby. Shit does happen too. And I do know that, you know, me and JC were definitely close on social media and when it came to bigger events like you know Godzilla minus one or GXK like I was so excited and so desperate to see JC's reaction to this stuff the one thing that I thought was just kind of odd when I first noticed was like hey I mean he did make a post related to GXK as a short but literally after that just dead silent and I know that for me personally I deleted both Facebook and Instagram and I know I had JC on both Snapchat and Discord but I do respect his decision as well because you know, not every YouTuber on the platform is gonna, you know, have time to explain the reason why things are the way that they are. It's just, hey, once you figure it out, you can just assume what you want. But I do miss him though. Like he was seriously like one of the coolest Godzilla YouTubers I knew on the platform. I truly do wish him the best of luck out there in real life. And if JC ever decides to come back on YouTube, I will definitely be there that first day. The only thing that we can just really conclude here is, hey, you just gotta just respect the man's privacy. Other than that, guys, Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I will see you guys the next time. Peace.